Hey, automation enthusiasts, this is John Stroudman from Microsoft's Mighty South region, and this is part two of our image classification series using the Power Platform. So in the first video, we looked at how to use the custom vision.ai site with, from Microsoft to train a model to recognize diseases in certain crops. Now we're going to look at a new tool from Microsoft called Loeb. And the advantage that Loeb gives us is that while we can train image classification models in the custom vision site, to connect to that from Power Automate, we need to do things like using uh, HTTP calls or an API call to connect that and get the results. Using Loeb, we can now easily train a model and upload that model directly to Power Automate and AI Builder and use that model in our automations. So as you probably know, the, the key to training any kind of classification model is the more images you have, the better. And so what I've done is I've got my various classifications of crops here, and I'm going to look at strawberry. And under strawberry, we've got frost damage and model virus. And you can see I've got quite a few images here for both kinds. So now what I'll do next is open up Loeb. And now we see the Loeb interface, and you can find Loeb at Loeb.ai. It's a downloadable project, you can product. You can read all about it on the website. And what we're going to do is start a new project here. So I click New Project, and let's name it uh, Berry Classification. And what we're going to have to do is import our images. So let's import some. And it says you need five images per label. As we discussed earlier, uh, the more images, the better. So what I do is I click the import button there and I say import images from my computer. And let's go to find our training images. The frost damage. And I'm not going to upload all of these. There's quite a few. Let's just do the first three rows. So let's get the first 26. And I say open. And now Loeb will import these. And what I do now is I go through and I label them all frost. Okay, and once we have all our images labeled as frost damage, now let's do model virus. So I'll do the same thing and import some images. And let's just do maybe 10 for model virus. So let's go out to number 10. That'll actually be, and let's call this model virus. And then it'll ask me the next label and I'll go through the same. So now I've got, 27 frost images and 11 model virus images. So now let's go to our training. And we see Loeb is starting to train our model automatically. So we'll give that some time to finish and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, now that our model's been trained in Loeb, we can very easily export it for use with AI Builder. So you quickly, simply click the Use button. Okay, now that our model's been trained in Loeb, we can use it in AI Builder. So we simply click the Use button and then click Export. And you'll see we've got a whole bunch of options here for where we want to export this model. I'm going to choose to model it. Uh, Okay, now that our mod model has been successfully trained in Loeb, we can export it for use with AI Builder. And to do that, we simply click the Use button, and then we click Export, and you'll see I've got a whole bunch of options for exporting our model. We're going to export it to AI Builder in the Power Platform. I click Export, and it'll ask me where I want to, how I want to name it, where I want to export it to, and all kinds of things like that. I've done this before, so let me just click Barrier Classification Model 2 and click Export. And I could optimize at this stage because this is a demo. I'm not going to optimize it in production. I would suggest you always optimize your models. I'm just going to click just export. And that'll export to the Power Platform. And I did this earlier. So let me open up this screen that shows my models. 
And you'll see that under AI Builder on my Power Automate screen, there's my Barry classification model that was exported from Loeb. So the benefit to our customers here is that very easily we create a new object or image classification model in Loeb. And with the built-in one Microsoft platform connectors, I can very quickly export it for use in AI Builder and Power Automate.